welcome back folks to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense. And when last we left off, four buildings surround our landed craft. We're going to have to get past all of these to get to the UFO, which I imagine is over here or over there. Hopefully none of these buildings have mutons in them. That's wishful thinking though. Hidden movement. There may not actually be many mutons around. Let us go over here and see if we can find that UFO. Is the UFO in this direction? Yes, the UFO is in this direction. And there appear to be absolutely no enemies to speak of. So I'm going to be a little bit risky here and start moving my soldiers out already. I think Postman Pap would have been shot at by now if there had been any mutons waiting. There would have been a prime opportunity just to take a shot from an upper floor, but no, was not taken. So Angel, you're going to move over to here, and then we're going to see about getting towards that UFO. There really don't seem to be that many mutons there. You're going to move a little bit further that way. Not moving as close to the tank, but getting to a place where we could be considered to be in cover. I say could be because, let's face it, this is going to be dangerous regardless of what we do. There could be mutons absolutely anywhere, and I don't want mutons to be absolutely anywhere. I want them to be just there, with no weapons, going, Hey! We're here now if you want to defeat us! Or even better, just all be dead in the crash landing. But that is, as always, wishful thinking. Too much wishful thinking. Civilian, you're over there. I'm also very concerned about all of the uh, alien retaliation attempts being made in Australasia. The soldiers in Australasia, shall we say, are not particularly good. We do have a lot of tanks on the way, but tanks can only plug so much of the gap. End turn. Well, we know where at least one muton is, over there. I'm just going to have you move to the side so that we can have somebody else take that shot. Like you! That muton was in that building. Hello! Postman Pad has something to deliver to you! Plasma! Okay, you hit exactly the same place three times there, Postman Pat. And again. Let us merely say, that was not very good. Okay, shopkeeper, can you do any better? Unless there's something over there you really want to hit, like a giant target that was painted on the side of the UFO, try and hit the muton. And that's better. The muton is gone. Far better. Right, we need to get into some cover if there are going to be, uh, mutons emerging from that direction. And this is when a muton literally comes from down those stairs, and we're in some trouble. You're going to go over here. As quickly as you can. There we go. You took a tiny bit of damage, that's alright. We'll have you move over here. You can't get all the way there, though. None of you probably can, so I'm just gonna have you wait there. Nothing. There really aren't many mutons around, are there? Either that, or they're all waiting for us. If you go over to there, we don't see any mutons. Okay, you're gonna go over to there, Postman Pat. You can reach. It's a little dangerous, just in case any mutons come out of here. Or more of them, anyway. You can get over to there, shopkeeper. There we go. The rest of you are going to wait for the moment. Or rather, you're going to go over to here. You're not going to make a mad dash across that uh, piece of dirt, because there could be mutons that would shoot you. Then again, there can also be mutons that will shoot you by this wall. But at the very least, people by those windows will not be able to shoot you. They could just walk out of that hole in the wall, though, and shoot you. Okay, that is the sound of people in the UFO exclusively. I wonder if there aren't many mutons. There's a muton! Just standing right there. We could move people over. I feel like that's a little dangerous. Why don't I move you over to here? I don't want you to get shot at and killed, but there don't appear to be many mutons. I keep saying that there aren't many mutons. I'm trying to persuade the game that there aren't many mutons. 
Maybe every time I say it, one more muton will just disappear into the ether. But no, not the case. Never the case. The game does not owe me anything. We can't shoot with the tank. You're going to go that way. Was that really the smartest decision? Oh, you did go that way. You're trying to sneak around, aren't you? That's not good. I don't know why you did that. Normally, if they don't see anyone, or if they, uh, or if they aren't going to shoot, they tend to go back into the UFO, but you have actually gone that way round. Makes me concerned. Makes me want to leave somebody back there. Angel could stay back. Could stay back. Or we could have somebody rush over to here. That might not be a bad idea either. Because then, civilian could occasionally pop out of uh, cover there and see if uh, they can see anyone. I'm going to leave you here for now. I'm going to end my turn. Doors opening. Where did that alien go? We don't know where that alien is. We don't know where that alien is at all. Is that alien hiding around the corner? Has that alien ran into a building? Where are you? Okay, where are you? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Have you gone around here? No. I am really concerned about that. The disappearing muton! Where have you gone? There you are! Goodbye, tank. I don't know where you were hiding, but suffice to say, that is one less tank that we have. Let's see if we can get you. That was not good. Quickly move over there. Let's see if shopkeeper can take out this muton. This could end really badly for us. Okay, the muton is gone. That's good. I'm just a little concerned about the fact that uh, we have somebody right there. That is prime uh, positioning for a muton to just pop out, walk around the corner, and shoot them in the back. Uh, the back armor on the power suit is the weakest armor. Nothing happened, though. Nothing happens at all. Right. The interior of this is still intact. Go over here. There is a muton. Right. With a small launcher. Take some shots. Excellent. We did lose the tank. That is a shame, but we can always build another one. We got more Illyrium. And we don't have any storage space, because of course we don't. We'll get rid of uh, these alloys here. We'll also get rid of a few of these, to be honest. And muton corpses. And that there. That's still... that's enough. That's enough. We can't get uh, that replaced. You know what we're going to do? We're going to actually transfer over some Illyrium, because the Illyrium is taking up a lot of space. If we transfer over, say, that much Illyrium... Okay, that's literally all we can transfer. We don't actually have enough space right now to uh, do anything concerning building another tank, do we? That's not good. We want space to uh, manufacture a tank. Let's stop production. Let's get a tank made. Can we actually do this? Will the game let us do this? Apparently so. Apparently we can get a tank done. Oh, to be fair, we did lose the tank, so uh, that's not too terrible. Let's get uh, those tanks made and let some time advance. Oh! You're looking around still. There's really not much I can do, but you're looking over there. That really is working to my benefit, though. That you're searching over there. You're continuing to look, but you won't find anyone. Not over there, anyway. Oh, please let it not be Australasia. Okay, insufficient storage base at Ultimate Tyrion. You must sell off excess items. Oh, that's because we're manufacturing these tanks, isn't it? It is. Because we're manufacturing them, it will let us make them, but it won't actually let us uh, do much more with them. Let's actually sell some of these stun launchers. They're not that useful to us right now. We can always make more of them later. Medium, another harvester. 
another harvester going to North Africa. Let's deal with that, shall we? We're really not doing well on the storage space here at uh, this base. We have way too many things, but that psionic laboratory is nearly done. And that is a long pursuit, but we have taken out this uh, harvester. And I think I'm not going to go for that one. The Harvester was a particularly difficult mission, and I think I'm fine with letting that time out. The Sionic Laboratory is complete. Sionic Laboratory is ready. Does this mean that we can now use that Psyamp? I highly hope so. Now, we only have 17 hours to go before that tank is ready. Let us equip the tank over to here. Hopefully that will make enough room in our stores probably not, that we can uh, have that tank just be there. Chances are we're going to have to sell some things. That is a supply vessel. That is a supply vessel. We will not be able to shoot that down. It is a very small window of opportunity to go and deal with that. We're going to have to intercept this. We're going to have to intercept this immediately with, the, uh, with our craft. Let's go. If we send this over here... We'll get there in time. We could try and shoot it down, but I'm going to be honest, we're not going to catch up with it. It's too fast. It's too fast, and we might not even manage to get there in time anyway. The uh, tank is done. Good. Storage base exceeded. Not by much, though. Let us uh, sell a few more things. About that much. There we go. And it is gone. We were not fast enough at all. Let us just have our craft return to base. That was a successful mission. The first in quite a while that has been uh, launched. They're going to gain points for that. I don't remember how many. This does mean that we do have the opportunity to go after that uh, harvester. But I don't feel like going after that harvester right now. We'll let that time out. We need a little bit more time to get things built. Like, for instance getting that made, and also various things being constructed. Three days for that, five days for that, until everything is made uh, concerning the storage space. We need to start making things. Where are those laser cannons? There they are. We haven't actually made any of these here for a while just to sell. Brilliant. We'll do that. We'll wait until various storage bases are done. That is a Harvester Australasia. Okay. Remember when I said that there weren't a lot of these uh, UFOs around? Clearly I was wrong. Clearly there are loads of them. We won't be going to this one either, because this one is over the water. But it's crash landed, which is good. And we have various pieces of research going very slowly. 50 there, 30 there, and 10 on the small launcher. I'd like one of them to conclude. General stores at Ultimacterion are done. Good. Okay, you can stop doing that. We still need to make a couple more power suits, and by a couple more, I mean we need to make another 15, maybe? 15 more power suits? 15 days? That's fine. Time goes by. General stores at Ultimac Algo are now complete, and there is a medium scout, alien infiltration. Yeah, no, not letting that happen. No way. Malartirium, take that out. Right now. Take it out. And we're gonna go and deal with this one. This is floaters. It's been a long time since we've seen floaters. We're gonna wait until it is day, and then we will deal with that uh, remnant of a crashed UFO. We don't want any infiltration missions succeeding. Not at all. Not even ones with floaters in them. Intercept. With this craft. Over here we go. There we go. Crash site number 33. We could have uh, this equipped again. You know what, I'm actually going to have it this way round. Like this. And you can put that down for the moment. If we end up needing, uh, if we end up not being able to use this, then I will uh, put it down and we'll just use the rocket launcher. And I didn't prime that smoke grenade, did I? No, no I did not. But that's okay because the UFO is 
literally right here. Oh dear. Literally here, eh? The game doesn't like me today, clearly. But that's okay. I'll take what I can get, which is a, a mission with floaters, and I'll succeed at it, if I can. You go over here, face that way, because chances are that is where the, uh, that's where the floaters are going to come from. All we can do is throw. Can that only be used when an alien is around? That's probably how that works. When an alien is around, then you can use it. Maybe that is how it works. But either way, let us go and, uh, get everyone over here, outside. I think only four will be sufficient, actually. Hello, floater. You're moving over there. You're shooting the tank. That's not gonna work. Okay, how does this function? I've no idea how that functions, but we'll probably not need it. If we can hit this floater, and kill the floater. We cannot kill the floater, apparently. This is uh, beyond us. Okay, you're gonna go and... Which alien can you see? You can see that one. That's one kill! It's been a while since we faced floaters, eh? Go over here, Sadwick. There is a second alien that you can shoot. Or not shoot, as the case may be. Not having much luck today, are we? Oh no. Go over here. And you can take some shots now. Much better. There are still some more of the, uh, of the floaters. But that's okay. Maybe they're all in the UFO. The UFO does seem to be quite intact, which means there is a high chance that we're going to be getting some more Illyrium. That's good! I could do with having more Illyrium clogging up my general stores. I probably should actually think about using it for things other than uh, making power suits. And I'm sure I will eventually. We just haven't got the capability to build the thing that we'll be using it for. That will come in time. Uh, get rid of all of those actions. I don't want uh, you to uh, shoot- Oh! That was a door. That might also be the only alien left. The only alien left might not be in the UFO, but instead might be outside the UFO. In a place with a door. Now you can't get over to there. There's a building here though. And there are doors in this building. A little concerned about that. Aha! You tried, but one of my soldiers was ready for you. And that was a quick mission, and a successful one too. I like missions that are quick and successful and have no casualties at all. And I still don't know how that, uh, Psy Amp works. Do I actually need to send people into the, um, into the, um, facility to get them to, uh, gain the ability to use psionics? I'm not sure. We'll figure it out in time, I'm sure. Time is moving on, slowly but surely. The days go by, the general stores are finished. And soon, the end of month report will occur. And soon, Sub-Zero and Barry will no longer be wounded. Oh, Psy training. Okay, that's what we can do. We can have people in the Psy labs. That psionic strength is ridiculous. Roren's Psy strength is 97! Whoa! Okay, Broren is a psionic master. Also, that is a, uh... Medium Scout going for Alien Retaliation. In... where? North America? It's going to take you a while to get there, isn't it? Also, plus 7,573. Everyone is happy. We gain even more money. Like 1.3 million. Also, the hangar is now built. That's important. Not for immediately. Actually, maybe for immediately. The Firestorm. Combat craft. This one-man fighter replicates the classic alien flying saucer design with central propulsion unit. Maximum speed, 4,200. Fuel capacity, 20. It uses Illyrium to fly. Weapon pods, 2. Damage capacity, 500. No cargo space, no heavy weapon capacity. 
New Fighter Transporter. That is a good thing to research with all 50 scientists. We also have the ability to produce the Hover Tank Plasma. This is a replacement to the uh, tank laser cannon. It does consume Illyrium, but we want to make two of these, and they're also quite expensive, and they take a little while. We don't want to uh, have a Firestorm built just yet. I want to consider my options there, but that will be for next time. For when we come back, folks, one vessel is flying over to North America, and we are one step closer to gaining the ultimate fighter craft. But with the Firestorm, we may be able to uh, deal with those battleships, even with our plasma launchers. But as I say, that'll be for next time. And I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.